Hello and welcome to another episode of the 11th OVC. This week we're going to be examining primary resources in the form of a photograph from the National Archives. Uh, so uh, what I'd like to do is share a little bit about an adventure I had in trying to just identify what we have going on in front of us here. Um, this is an image that was marked unknown, so we have no context for what is going on in this photograph. And so what we have right here is uh, a neat photograph. There's a garrison flag. It looks like it's going to be a Union camp. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And uh, it's a very large garrison flag here. Um, so it's a fairly established camp, even though we are dealing with um, canvas tents here. Um, and it looks like it's going to be some warmer time of year, um, probably late spring or summer or early fall, because we have a lot of foliage here. There's a lot of leaves on the trees. And it looks like this camp, uh, they actually took the time to take these leaves and uh, <laughs> God, not just the leaves, uh, but uh, the foliage here, and they made more of a brush arbor type decorative entrance and um, surround to this larger um, fl fly that they have set up there. So that's kind of cool. Um, but we have some officers that are lounging around. Looks like there's a couple orderlies or enlisted men that are kind of hanging out at the edges. Um, there's a lot of blankets that are out to dry here, so most likely it recently rained or um, they're just uh, trying to air out their blankets a little bit. There's some wagons back here couple smaller tents. Um, there's a lot of wall tents here so it's uh, most likely an officer's camp um, or some sort of headquarters because uh, we have looks either a guard here or uh, an orderly um, running around. Um, more officers reading newspapers here, smoking cigars. Um, and so uh, what really caught my attention as far as um, what does this photograph have to tell us um, especially when it's, there's no context to it, is uh, this flag grab my attention right here. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. And you'll notice that uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't notice at first. Um, but as, as you zoom in, um, you'll see it's a core flag. And um, this can really help us out so we can find out which army exactly had this, which corps, which brigade, and, um, and so forth. So uh, this was kind of a nice little side adventure that I had while I was going through and looking at this image. So we know it's a core flag. Um, we have a nice little triangular shape. It's not like any other flag. Um, and it looks like it has a nice dark background to it with a lighter marking and it looks like a lozenge. Um, and so because I'm a very visual person and I do not have all the cores memorized and all of their uh, core bad shapes. Um, I actually googled it and so uh, you can see all kinds of uh, images that list the core, uh, excuse me, the core shapes um, that you can find on their flags and identifying units in the Union Army here. And you can see this is the third core in a variety of resources. It's always good to triple check uh, different sources. That way you're not just using some random discovery and, and um, it could be completely wrong. So it's always nice to quadruple check all your, your findings. So this is indeed a third Army Corps, um, that lozenge there. And so uh, another site that I happened to find when I was just cruising through the interwebs here uh, was a nice site. It's called War Flags Through the Ages and Around the World. Um, this was a really interesting and helpful find for me because uh, it lists all sorts of flags around the world. Um, but I ended up going through various areas, um, different countries. They actually go and narrow it down to the United States flags through the ages, the United States Army flags, and uh, I actually ended up going to Union Army's garrison and headquarters flags. Um, and that's uh, what really helped me out on this. And so uh, if we go to Third Corps, Army of the Potomac, you can see that distinct lozenge shape there. Uh, as you scroll down, there's some nice information there. Um, but they have headquarters flags, and uh, they have a nice artillery brigade flag for this. Um, and uh, you'll notice it looks exactly like the image that we are looking at. And we can't really tell colors with a black and white image, obviously. Um, it's, it's very difficult to determine. Um, and so we don't know whether that's a red background or a blue. Uh, all we know is that that is a darker background with a lighter shape on top of it there. And so as we look at these various flags, 
you see the first division had a lighter background with a red marking on it there uh, and so that's not how this flag is going to look if you're looking in you know in regards to light and darks if you scroll down the second division there we go we have a dark background with a light colored lozenge in there and as you continue scrolling down you'll see that the third division is going to have a light colored as well um, so uh, but with blue there we go so it'll be light with a darker color so we do know indeed this is from the second division and because if you look at the brigade markings on this particular flag you look at the triangular flags here and you can see this doesn't have any other markings on it um it's it's uh we can zoom all the way in there and um it might either be shadows um but i oh, now i'm having second thoughts <laughs> i'm gonna go back and check but um i don't see a very distinct difference if there is a red marking here and it could be the second brigade you can see there's a, a little bit of red that's going to be very difficult to distinguish red and blue um, in those original photographs so i may have actually second guessed myself here actually that might actually be from the second brigade because i can just barely see this line along the edge of that flag there so I might have to change my thoughts here. <laughs> um, the first discovery that I thought it was, was the first brigade because I didn't see that line. But the more that I zoom in, I'm gonna guess it's more belonging to the second brigade because of that very faint line as that flag appears to be flying out off of that pole there. So um, that was just kind of a neat little discovery there. Um, and now we know this is at least, can be narrowed down, this is indeed a headquarters for the, if I can remember, the 3rd Corps Army of the Potomac. This will be the 2nd Division, and it's either the 1st or 2nd Brigade headquarters there. Um, so uh, it's amazing the things that you can learn when you're looking at original photographs, and it's amazing how many times you have to second guess yourself as well. So um, always uh, do your research, have a good time, and uh, share with your friends. It's always nice to share that knowledge that we gain there. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, look us up on Facebook at the 11th OVC. Give us a like. Look us up on YouTube and click subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get notified when we have more uh, videos that we produce out and share with you guys. Uh, you uh, are just uh, tired of hearing me. That's okay. You can go ahead and, and uh, watch another video or whatever. We won't complain too much. But until we see you in the field, read hard.